Welcome back, uh, subscribers on uh, Richter's Reviews. I'm going, coming back to you with another review. Um, it's been a little bit um, since I've actually done a review. It's been probably about a little over a week. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the, uh, the last video I did, I showed you what I was going to be reviewing in the next couple of weeks, months, whatever. Take take a while. But, uh, yeah, so today, for the movie review, I'm doing Phantom of the Mall, Eric's Revenge. Now, this is the only way that you, uh, if you still have the VHS, but this is a DVD. Now, I believe there's might be a, uh, a Blu-ray or uh, edition overseas or something like that, but I would definitely love to see this come to Blu-ray. Basically, Phantom of the Mall, Eric's Revenge, is about a uh, it's about a guy who was he was with his girlfriend, and he gets burned alive, and um, he gets trapped in a house and he gets burned, and then years later they build a uh, mall above where he, he he died. Supposedly they never found his body, and he ends up staying inside the mall, so he's kind of like living inside the mall. Because they kind of build around the place that uh, him and his girlfriend uh, were at. Now, the girl, Melody Austin, is played by the beautiful Carrie, Kara Whitman. Now, she, you may remember her from playing in Minute Work. And she did have a TV series on um, one of those cable channels a couple, probably about ten years ago or more. And her, her boyfriend was Eric Matthews. He is uh, played by Derek Rydell. He now he went on to play um, after this, yeah, because this was made in 1988 and it come out until 1989. But uh, he played in Night Visitor. Now um, he also played in Popcorn. Um, not much is known. I don't know what happened to him, but this this is pretty notorious for being the first film. Starring Pauly Shore. Now, Pauly Shore, everybody knows who Pauly Shore is. He went on to play in Encino Man. He played in Biodome. He's played in Jury Duty. He's played in a bunch of movies. Now, he was really big through the mid to the early 90s up to the late 90s. And then he kind of, his uh, popularity kind of plummeted. But he's actually still doing the in the business and still doing conventions and still doing movies. And, um... And uh, the one of her friends, Melody's friends, is Susie, played by Kimber Sesson. Now she's another gorgeous lady, but she played in um, she played in an episode of Beauty and the Beast, and uh, she's played in some other stuff, but not much. Is, I don't really know her her how her career has turned into. Now the mayor of this of this mall, she's the one who helped build it, and she's played by Morgan Fairchild. Now everybody knows who Morgan Fairchild is. Anybody that's watched TV. Or um, um, is was born before 1999. They definitely would uh, know who uh, Morgan Fairchild is. So she's played in numerous TV shows and numerous movies. But it also stars Rob Estes. Now Rob Estes, a lot of people may remember him from Silk Stockings, which was a big popular show from the U.S. A Network. And he also played in Melrose Place, and he's been in various movies and uh, other. TV shows and things, and also in the cast is Jonathan Goldsmith, and um, a little uh, little side note: uh, one of the actors that plays uh, in the movie is Tom Fraudling. Fried Fraudling or Fradley. He actually played in Friday the Thirteenth Part Six. Jason Lives, and this was the movie he probably not did not right after it, but one of his movies he did after filming that film. Um, and he has been in some ever uh, he's been in some of his movies because uh, John Travolta is his um, I guess would be his stepbrother. Um, but anyway, the movie Phantom of the Mall is a really good uh, 1980s uh, film that was produced and by Fry's Entertainment. Um, the DVD came out by Platinum Disc, which is now um, under the Mill Creek or uh, Echo Bridge uh, banner. Echo Bridge bought all the Platinum Discs um, franchise uh, releasing the movies, and uh, it was directed by Richard Friedman. Richard Friedman directed uh, a lot of uh, horror films in the 80s and some TV shows. Um, but uh, the biggest thing that I really find that was really cool about Phantom of the Mall, Eric's Revenge, is that um, you have a lot of, um, 
interesting kills in the movie, I guess. Not really interesting kills, but different. Um, especially when um, he, 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 Eric kills this one security guard, and his ear, he somehow, I guess, his, he gets... His ear falls off and falls into the like the ice cream place where Polly Shore's character is working as an ice cream guy, right? Um, and you know, or no, his ear it was his eyeball. And then when he goes to later on in the movie, he sees where um, the girls are going to get some ice cream and stuff like that. And um, one of the the eyeball ends up in the ice cream without them knowing. Um, I'm not sure how that really happened, but it did happen and. And um, one of the girls has an eyeball in it, and um, one girl has an, has an ear in it, which which was really cool is because, you know, back in the 80s, there was actually, they did have, like, plastic eyes and plastic ears that you could put in to ice cream and had to be really different, and they, he, so he takes it and bites it, and, and uh, it's just full of uh, sugar, whatever. But anyway, that's, that's one scene. Another scene in the movie is, you know, it's for C. Kill, Tom, Tom Friedley's character. Um, he's a real jerk in the movie. He's running a skateboard in the movie. And he ends up getting killed by an escalator. Uh, basically, his, uh, his shirt gets caught up into the escalator, and he pulls up on there, and he gets choked to death. That's not, It's kind of interesting kill. Another guy, one of the one of the guys owns the, ma one owns the mall, he ends up getting killed with the snake coming up through the, the toilet. Um, kind of reminds you of Ghoulies, where, you know, they'll get you in the end. But, uh, yeah, the uh, Phantom of the Mall, Eric's Revenge, definitely needs a Blu-ray release because the DVD is, you know, it's it's good for what it is, but um, it's definitely uh, outdated because I think this came out in 2005, the disc did. So, yeah, um, that's Phantom of the Mall, Eric's Revenge, and uh, what I recommend it, uh, yeah, for definitely people who like the 80s horror films. Um it's got great performances. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, um, cheesy moments in the film, but other than that, I mean, if what other movie are you gonna see Polly Shore's ass in the film? But not not for not for a lot of people want to see that. But I'm just saying that is part of one of the movies. But also a little side note: they also played in the movie was um, Brink Stevens is one of the girls that's in the um, changing room, which there happens to be a perverted. Uh, security guard turning on the camera so he can see them. And uh, another another side note is one of the uh, other security guards is played by Ken Foray, who played in Dawn of the Dead. Um, so yeah, he was in that movie. Um, so if I'd recommend it if you like 80s films and um, so it's got it's got action, it's got horror, it's got you know, every little detail and. Um, that you would want in the 80s film, and I, I really enjoyed it. Um, as far as the Richter scale rating, I would give it at a, uh, let's see, I would give it probably a 7.5, maybe an 8 um, on the Richter scale, and uh, so yeah, that's that's the review of Phantom of the Mall, Eric's Revenge, definitely needs a Blu-ray release, and uh, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, or if you don't like it, give it a thumbs down, but you know, it is what it is, and if you have any comments, leave it down below, or if you want to leave a comment, leave it down below, and uh, my name is Brad Richter, and I will see you on the next review tomorrow.